Woo! Hello. Welcome to day two of Startup Health Festival. I'm so excited to be kicking it off. For those of you who were here yesterday, welcome back. For those of you who are just joining us for the first time, we're excited to have you and welcome. Uh, just to recap quickly so everybody understands what went on yesterday, we had more people come through yesterday than we did in the entire festival last year. And we hosted over 1,400 face-to-face -face meetings for our partners and collaborators in Health Transformers. So it's going to be an exciting day today, and we're looking to do the same numbers and have the same excitement and energy. By now, most of you are starting to see how important mindset is to the startup health community. Mindset allows us to see something deeper and more powerful right in front of us. It gives us the opportunity to see something and be part of something bigger, bigger than any one person, bigger than any one company, bigger than any one moonshot. As you saw in the video, moonshot helped land us on the moon approximately 50 years ago this past July. From space, our pioneering astronauts saw the Earth from a different perspective. They had a radical change in perspective. As vast as the Earth seems to us down here, they saw it as this solitary, delicate, life-sustaining planet. Water and oxygen hanging amidst this expansive universe, borders that were indistinguishable from above. The history of all of humankind occurring right here. They often talk about and describe being captivated by this thin blue line that sustains life on Earth as we know it. It's a fragile line between a beautiful life and a catastrophic death, between power and frailty, a balance and tension between Mother Nature and human nature. Imagine the dramatic change in perception that these astronauts must have experienced seeing this for the first time. Being able to figuratively and literally take a step back and see our planet in its entirety from a new perspective. My journey through medicine has allowed me to experience my own dramatic change and shift in perception. I started my career as a researcher, trying to find cures. I then became a physician and a surgeon to try to apply those cures. I then developed into and became the chief medical officer of Startup Health, trying to move from treating a few patients a day or a few hundred a year to hopefully treating thousands and millions more. I've seen and felt it all, as many of you have too. The loneliness in the lab, the isolation, the loss of life in my hands, the barriers to access that denied care, the overwhelming costs of medicines and treatments, and the toll that psychosocial issues and a broken system has on all of us. Each chapter in my journey has made me painfully aware of the challenges that we face as healthcare providers, healthcare professionals, family members, and patients, and hopefully how to overcome them. So, this is what I'd like to talk to you about today. Three challenges and opportunities that are the same no matter where you look in the world. Mindset, collaboration, and funding. As researchers, we often find progress slowed by guarded transparency or a lack of funding. Providers spend more time documenting in the record or arguing with insurance companies than they do actually taking care of patients and supporting their families. Instead of curing disease and improving efficiency within the healthcare system, we are creating more regulations and restrictions and blockages. Systems which were meant to create solutions instead complicate and confuse. And when new ideas are brought forth, whether it's curing cancer or driving the cost to zero, we are met by naysayers who say, it can't be done. We're met with resistance and ridicule. 
Too often we lose sight of the big picture. We create boundaries and we draw lines in the sand. We're bunkered in silos where breakthroughs are hidden behind paywalls. We live in an, with an abundance of knowledge where less people currently live in poverty, yet more people die of preventable causes. In the United States alone, one of the wealthiest countries on this planet, life expectancy has decreased for the third year in a row from preventable causes. These causes, so everybody knows, opioid epidemic, addiction, and suicide. That's, it's unheard of. In a broader context, around the world, there's an unrelenting attack on science and on reason, on community and on identity. Opponents are viewed as enemies. Truth is declared fake. Faux populism frames progress as fear instead of hope. This us versus them mentality has to stop. It's exhausting and it's destructive. But it doesn't have to be, especially in healthcare. Everyone in this room can change the prevailing mentality from I to we. And we can do it by embracing the moonshot mindset in medicine and in healthcare. After 11 years of being trained in this system in the United States, I was challenged by one of my mentors to go on a mission trip. He had been running mission trips for years. And he said that that experience was necessary to really see what medicine is and could be. And I have to say, he was right. After 14 consecutive years of going to Central Amer America on mission trips, I too experienced a dramatic shift, a change in my perspective of seeing how medicine and healthcare could be delivered. Just like the astronauts, I needed to step back. I needed to experience my world from a different view. So this is what I was used to, right? I would wake up, this is Philadelphia, where I live and where I practice. This is the kind of ORs I have access to, cutting edge technology and the most sophisticated systems available on the planet. When I flew into Belize for the first time, this is what I was greeted with. This is southern Belize in Dangriga. This is the hospital where we would do all of our surgeries for the last 14 years. And it's the largest hospital in southern Belize. On medical mission, I should say, my experiences in central Belize forced me to rethink how I envisioned what medicine can be. On the mission trips, there's no cost for patients, there's no lengthy uh, approval process, and communities work together, they come together to help and support each other. Caretakers and providers from around the world see a problem, see a patient, treat the patient, fix the problem. It's always bothered me when I come back home, I feel a little bit let down. I come right back into the system that is broken. Our expensive healthcare system seems to create more red tape and obstructions year after year. And this ultimately limits us. And the issues just aren't limited to the United States. It doesn't matter where you look in the world. It's the same three issues, mindset, division, and funding. We're continually told why some things can't work or why it can't be done rather than how to do it. Our researchers and innovators are working in silos trying to protect their ideas rather than share them. Industry, whether it's insurance companies or pharmaceutical companies, are stripping the system of funding because they want to deliver profits to their shareholders instead of delivering care and cures at reasonable prices. At Startup Health, we set out to find a better way. Our ethos was simple, and you'll heard Stephen say this multiple times, you're either batteries included or you're not. We pledged that we would all be batteries included and we would only work with others who shared that belief and that energy that anything is possible. And for those of you who don't understand what being batteries included is, it means you bring energy and positivity to everything that you do. The Moonshot Mindset embraces this idea. It embraces the idea that audacious goals are the best way to bring about revolutionary change to our healthcare system. Over the past several decades, the term moonshot 
has, was broadly used to describe ambitious goals across the board. You saw in the video, it started with the first moon landing, but now encompasses research, research on most of, the, of, the, of society's most intractable problems. Things like curing chronic disease, curing cancer, and driving costs to zero. At Startup Health, we have a 25-year plan to build an army of digital health entrepreneurs and innovators, health transformers, to achieve 11 of the world's biggest moonshots. And as you know, most of you have seen this time and time again, you just saw in the video, if you read these, these are the problems that we all face, all of us as humans. We believe that when we achieve these moonshots, and we will, we will change the health and well-being of everyone on this planet. Each of our moonshots attracts companies from around the world. These companies are united with a common goal. And we know it's not easy. We know it's not easy. Disruption is always uncomfortable, and it doesn't happen overnight. But as a result of the bold visions of our health transformers striving to do what many believe is impossible, I really believe we're on the cusp of a medical revolution akin to the discovery of antibiotics or mapping the human genome. This quest is going to usher in treatments that haven't even been imagined yet. We're striving to achieve these goals by overcoming these three challenges that I mentioned. Changing our mindset, collaborating more, and funding more. I know the critics are gonna give us a million reasons why we can't, we hear it every day. But I can give you a million reasons why we must. I know that hope is an essential part of the we mindset. So, this is my call to action. First, embrace your own moonshot by developing the proper mindset. Support others' moonshot as well. Second, accept nothing less than transparency and collaboration from our peers and from our leaders, including research labs, universities, industry, and yeah, other entrepreneurs. 50 years ago, countless companies answered the call of the original moonshot. The expected companies, things like North American Aviation and Whirlpool and IBM, we all, you know, everybody figured they would join in. But even companies, unlikely companies like Playtex, which was a bra company, heeded the call and helped design the astronaut suits. Each of these companies have their own mission. They had their own mission statement, but they all came together to, with an innovative mindset to achieve something that was thought to be impossible. We can do this. At Startup Health, we're uniting a global army of health transformers who, are, who, are, who share a transformational mindset, principles, and a commitment. This is not a local phenomenon. This is happening all over the world. As a matter of fact, we have companies in over 24 countries. Third, support and work with individuals and companies who believe in your moonshot and can provide you with mentorship, guidance, and funding. But remember, you have to think big. We can do this, not just because of the breakthroughs in front of us, but because it unlocks something greater and more powerful within all of us. So, does anybody know who this is? I actually may, might even just tell people. This is the same person, and that might help uh, illustrate who it is. Anybody? No? 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 Roger Bannister? Name sound familiar? Roger Bannister was the first person in history to run a sub four minute mile. And while that sounds amazing, and it is amazing, the fact that it was thought to be impossible and he did it, what was truly amazing is what happened after. Does anybody know how long his record stayed? Three weeks. Three weeks later, something that was thought to be impossible for years and years, for all of human time, really, was broken again. And three weeks later, it was broken again. And now over 1,400 people have run a sub 14 minute mile. Did anything change during that time? Did our anatomy change? No. Did our physiology change? No. One thing changed, the mindset that it could be done. When people believe things can get done, it can. So remember, while success is important and it's phenomenal, so is trying. 
trying to be the difference, trying to deliver change, trying to spare another family from ever hearing, I'm sorry, there's nothing more that we can do. As providers, researchers, academics, and entrepreneurs, we are in a unique position to offer hope beyond the limits of science. In the video, President Kennedy said, we choose to go to the moon in this deca decade and do other things, not because they're easy, but because they're hard. Because that challenge is one we are willing to accept and one we are no longer willing to postpone. One which we intend to win. Every day in my clinical practice, I witness the real, uncompromising, undaunted hope of patients an unwillingness to postpone, and an intention to win. I see it here at the Startup Health Festival, too, within all of you, and I see it with those back home and those around the world. Right here, right now, we can do this. So welcome to Startup Health Festival Day 2. Bring your energy, your ideas, and together we can really change the health and well-being of everyone on this planet. Thank you very much.